I think one of the exciting parts about the community forest here is that it's a place where people can come any day of the week and they can see active forest management and see how much uh, the stands have gotten taller, the trees have gotten bigger, the roads are in better shape. I mean, that's just, it's really exciting to, to, to observe that. The Arcata Community Forest is, is one of very few publicly owned, town-owned forests in, in the West. And we've owned this forest since 1955 as a community forest. We're managing this forest for the owners, the community. It all comes at a cost. I mean, for us to be able to put in a mountain bike trail or to remove an invasive plant that happens to have you know, escaped from someone's backyard and, and gotten established in this forest, well, that takes money and time and resources. Roads and trails and wildlife monitoring, erosion control work, that's all funded by our timber harvesting program here. The goal is, is to manage the light here so that we, we can increase the growth and increase future inventories in terms of volume per acre. With forestry, much like how we garden, the denser you grow your trees, the slower the forest grows. And so if you're able to thin a few trees here and there, that enables the trees that you'd like to keep through time to be able to grow faster and be stronger and be healthier because they're not struggling for light or struggling for water or nutrients. It just gives them a little more growing space and, and the ability to kind of stretch out and, and be in a, in a better overall uh, growing position through time. We've cut 27 million board feet since 1981. It, it, it still looks great. In fact, we have doubled the inventory in the last 30 years and, and still, you know, harvested timber. In, in this forest, it's, it's only 2,300 acres, but it provides for Arcata about $400,000 per year, which would be hard to replicate uh, through some other uh, funding source. So I think any landowner, including a city, needs to have the option of obtaining revenue from the land if we want to continue managing uh, long term, because forestry is a long term investment. What we like to hope is that the consumers value this type of forestry and, and will, will purchase products made from timber in this forest so that we can continue what we've been doing and that's sustainably managing a redwood uh, tract of land in perpetuity. The redwood is, is an iconic species in, in this state and it's very weather resistant and it's rot resistant. It's resistant to insects and decay and it's homegrown here in California. I, for one, put a redwood deck uh, on my house recently and I made that choice consciously. Um, putting cement is a non-renewable resource. Um, choosing one of these plastic composite products, uh, while they appear to be reused materials, they have a high cost um, to produce them energetically, um, which has a large carbon footprint associated with that. And redwood is what's here and um, we are so fortunate to be able to, to have that product available for us. In my opinion, Redwoods is a superior product uh, to the, the substitutes. In California, with the forest practice rules and forest certification systems, a consumer can verify that that, that product is, is sustainably produced. Without the revenue to manage this forest, the city wouldn't be looking to buy additional forest lands that are threatened you know, with subdivisions and conversions, which would be the worst possible case for the forest ecosystem. We need the consumers of wood products to, to purchase redwood so that we could reinvest in, in the land. There's just uh, an incredible sense of pride that I think we all have to be a member of this community and to be able to know that um, we've got a forest that's growing through time that's producing high value crops as well as clean water, clean air, a place to recreate, a place for the wildlife, um, and, and knowing that through time that that's only going to get better. It's not just about making money. 
or having trails, but it, it's about pride of ownership and, and that sense of um, sustainability and, and uh, continuance through generations.